Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker buys a bike. Check it out y'all, I just picked this up. I got the, we're doing the paperwork here in a few minutes. Uh, I came here today, they had sent me a message saying they had a uh, Desert Tan signal, series, signal series, and uh, I was all lined up to buy it. As a matter of fact, it's sitting right over there. And uh, <laughs> I ended up buying this one. Now why is that? Well, it's got the bags, the foot pegs, but most importantly, it's got the red. I love red. I'm a sucker for red. It's got red on the rims. It's got red on the tank. It's got red on the side covers. It's got a little bit of chrome. I just love the way it looks. Uh, I kind of get a kick out of this because I keep saying I don't want another black motorcycle, but yet here I am. You know, check that out. That's all chrome or brushed stainless maybe. But uh, what a what a bike. I love these bikes. Oh, it already has the wider foot pegs on it, which I said I wanted. Like I said, it's got the bags. Uh, they put a comfort seat on it for me. I so this is a uh, Royal Enfield Classic 350. We'll go over the basics here real quick. 349 cc's, air and oil cooled, single cylinder, uh, fuel injected, two valve, one intake, one exhaust. One of the smoothest five-speed transmissions you can find. And I'm gonna go through my whole spiel. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Royal Enfield knows how to make a good transmission. Wahoo! Um, I do want to get a heel shifter. I'm still pondering that one. The front forks are 41 millimeter with about 5.1 inches of travel, but they're covered. Isn't that nice? So I don't have to worry about dirt or bugs or anything like that. That's 127 millimeters of travel, by the way. Uh, 300 millimeter front disc. I think the front tire is a 190-19. Check that out. I love the run the, the stripe. It's also a tubeless tire and it's got the mags. Now, I don't know why I bought mags, but uh, there's just something about this bike that grabbed me. I just love the whole thing. I mean, just look at that. Just gorgeous. The rear tire is a 120-80-18. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little excited right now. I hope, I hope that's showing through. But, you know, these things are, everything's metal on these. Metal, metal, cast aluminum. Even the side covers are metal. You know, the back, the fenders, everything's metal on these. I just, I'm so impressed with these bikes. The 350 series, the J series by uh, Royal Enfield is just amazing. Rear brake is a 270 millimeter single pot Bybrie. Rear suspension, I think it's also 5.1 inches. And that's, like I said, 127 millimeters. Wheelbase on these hot rods, 54.7 inches. That's 1,389 millimeters. That's slightly longer than the Hunter model we rode the other day. Um, this has a little less rake on it, a little longer wheelbase. It's not quite as nimble as the Hunter model. It's got the bigger tires. The Hunter model is very sporty. Ground clearance on something like this is 6.7 inches. Isn't that amazing? 6.7 inches. It's 170 millimeters, so loads of ground clearance. And I was, uh, my good buddy Matt has one of these in the uh, military color. Signal series, and we were out dirt biking with him. I was on my Himalayan, he was on his uh, classic and had no trouble at all. I think there's a video back there somewhere where we were doing that. Seat height, 31.7 inches, that's 805 millimeters. Now that's with the standard seat. I don't think this will change it much. This is the uh, kind of the touring seat. Yeah, it says touring right there. Very nice, very nice. Fuel tank, 3.4 gallons, that's about 13 liters. And the weight, this is the heaviest of the of the 350s. Weight is uh, 430 pounds, 195 kilograms. So quite a deal, quite a deal. Now I'm gonna show you this real quick because you always wanna know. This bike is a dealer model. Uh, this was used for demo rides. So it's got about six or 700 miles on it. So there's the uh, MSRP at the top, transport fee. It took $1,000 off of it. And then here's all the add-ons. The wider uh, foot pegs, the comfort seats, front and back, the military panniers, and uh, I don't know what else they added, but uh, quite a bike, isn't it? And the color, by the way. Oh, what is the color? Dark Stealth Black. I love it. I love it. You know, blacked out engine. The end of the fins are not milled. Um, that kind of goes with the whole thing, doesn't it? But uh, look at that. A lovely muffler. Anyway, I'm in love with it. I'm just in love with it. And I just love the racing stripe. That's really what sold me on this one. That's really what sold me the red. Like I said, I have a problem with red. So 
It's got the little eyebrow on the uh, front here, the tiger eyes. You know, I love these levers. I just love these levers and grips. So uh, jumping up here real quick, uh, let's look at this. It's got a single gauge mono eye speedometer, battery light. I don't know if it has an oil light. Let's try that again. I don't think it does. Fuel light, engine light, ABS light. So down here we've got the odometer. It has 1,621 miles on it. Going over here, that's the information button. If you look at the odometer, trip one, trip two, time, and then the odometer itself. And then the fuel gauge is on the top. This one has a little under third, a little over, a little under half a tank. Look at this. I just love this whole, I mean, the whole way this, this looks here, you know, the spade shape, the tiger eyes. Let's look at the tiger eyes right quick. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Little lights right there. Just a beautiful thing. And this is one solid piece of cast material. I mean, you know, they didn't have to do that. They could have made that out of plastic. They could have made it in chunks. So it was easier to do, but it's one solid piece. I mean, I'm just so impressed. You know, Royal Enfield really does the job on a bike like this. Anyway, and I talked about the levers already. The levers on these bikes are phenomenal. Now going up here, flash to pass, low, high, high lows, blinkers here, horn here. This is the uh, kill switch run switch and then start switch it's a rocker switch you just to start you do that and then the hazard lights right there throttle right there of course it's got these barrel shaped them all grips again i just love that that's you know the classic looks on these are just that's truly really drawing me into this model this particular model um each of the three models each of the three models has its own virtues uh i think the overall you know what we'll make a video how about i make a video on that i'll do one of those maybe in a couple days and it'll outline the benefits of each model and what I think about each model. And, you know, and uh, I'll just say that I bought this model because I love the way it looks. I love the whole idea of the classic looking motorcycle. And I just, you know, that's why I went with this one. But uh, anyway, uh, knee pads, you know, it, it, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I love it. I love it. Uh, how do these ride? Well, uh, pushing it around here is easy. It's, it's you know, it's 430 pounds, but it's got a very low center of gravity. Uh, driving it around town is a snap. These things handle so well. And uh, getting on the highway, I think they're supposed to go something like 70 miles an hour. I wouldn't count on that. I think that's, uh, you know, the wind's with you and going down a hill. But uh, I think the uh, new model will do that easily because the new model is quite a bit lighter, the Hunter. But uh, what a what a beautiful motorcycle! I'm just uh, I'm really just I love it. Oh, and by the way, kickstands standard on all of their 350s. I mean, it just you know you don't have to pay extra for that kind of stuff. Other brands you do, and it just blows me away. And here's the best part: so Baxter's has uh, they got three or four of these bikes that were uh, demo bikes, and they are going to sell them off at discount. I think this was a thousand dollars off, and. Um, They've got a three-year unlimited mile warranty. So three-year warranty, unlimited miles from the day you buy it. They've had all the service done. The first services are done, oil change, all that neat stuff. And uh, it just, it's a phenomenal deal. If you want one of the ones like this that they have, uh, get a hold of Baxter Cycle, BaxterCycle.com, ask for Jeremy, tell him Buzzy sent you. And then of course, they've got a whole slew of brand new ones of the classics, of the uh, Meteors, of the new Hunters that just came out. And uh, anyway, I'm just thrilled. Hey, I'm a rambling man. I'm a rambling man. Anyway, I'm Fuzzy Biker. It's a windy day out here in Iowa, but I'm going to go take that hot rod for a spin. Y'all do the same. It's nice to chat. Life is good. Wahoo.